system is guilty as hell. All right, there you go. There's some of the uh, protesters from Baltimore, ladies and gentlemen, uh, of course, uh, surrounding the death of Freddie Gray. Joining us now is our friend Michael Myers, president of the New York Civil Rights Coalition uh, and New York Daily News columnist. Good to see you, my friend. Good seeing you. All right, so, you know, it, first of all, let, let's make it clear. I mean, I, I know I, and I'm sure you would like to know what happened to this young man who died a week after suffering a severing of his spine, uh, apparently in police custody. We don't know how that happened. Uh, but uh, again, the investigation is unfolding. It's proceeding. It's, go it's, 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 it's proceeding. It's going forward. So uh, these, the, to me, a lot of these protests have been encouraged by the likes of CNN. Well, the problem is that the investigation does not have any credibility. You have, in New York at least, we have a saying. See something, say something. Right. In Baltimore, they have a police commissioner who watches a video, the same video you and I have seen of the, of the arrest, uh, of the man who was being, who writhing in pain as they're arresting him and about to put him in the police van. And here's a police commissioner, doesn't see anything, I didn't see anything, I didn't see anything that done wrong, I didn't hear anything. Uh, I believe that this police commissioner in Baltimore is not fit. He is either too deaf, too blind, or too dumb to be the police chief of, of a major urban city. So I, I think that, and then he says, well, if the investigation is going on. You can't look at a video and say, I don't see anything wrong, and say, well, that's right for an investigation. Right, 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 right. You know, we've got to have police commissioners, a command structure. Like Rudy Giuliani said, Rudy Giuliani came to office in New York. He knew there was a problem, a perception, and a real problem of police misconduct. Whether it was abuse or, or, or violence or rhetoric or verbal abuse, he knew it was a problem. And he said, look, I'm going to, get, I'm going to fix it. Just like I'm going to fix the crime problem, I'm going to fix the problem of police misconduct. And I'm going to hold the commanders responsible. They may not be, they may not be responsible for the, for the mis right. misconduct but themselves, in of these but people. they will be accountable. Yeah. Responsibility and accountability. I don't hear a police commissioner, a police chief in Baltimore saying, Rank and file, my lieutenants, my captains, my commanders, you are going to be held accountable. I don't hear that. What do you think happened to this uh, man? I don't know. But I can tell you one thing. Based on experience, police cannot investigate police. Hmm. I keep saying the same thing over and over again with these, with these incidents. Why, don't, why doesn't we get, we get leadership from the state government? Why doesn't the governor and the, and the state attorney general and others in, immediately in, in, intercede and appoint a special prosecutor. That's the only way you're going to get a credible investigation. Otherwise, you're going to get the same thing over and over again. We've seen this movie. We've seen the protests. And then you have from the police department, and the police department even in, and including Baltimore, the police com commissioner and the mayor says, oh, we don't need outside agitators. Uh, we we got to calm the community down. This is 50 years after everybody made a whole big to-do about Selma March. It was outside agitators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, you let, can't let, blame the protesters. Let me, let they me, have a free speech right. Let me ask you about what's going on here in New York City, or might go on here in New York City. Uh, uh, the uh, head of the New York City Council, the president of the New York City Council, or the speaker. The speaker. Yeah, yeah. She wants to decriminalize turnstile jumping, mm -hmm. meaning for people who uh, get in the subway system and they hop the turnstile instead of paying the money. Yeah. Um, uh, open drinking, you know, open cans uh, in public. Uh, and and, uh, and you're at public urination. Uh, I mean, this is the complete opposite of what you mentioned, Rudy Giuliani, of the broken windows theory. He also wants to decriminalize riding bicycles on the sidewalk. Uh, are they going? Are they going to criminalize um, dogs that pee in the street? Are they going to do that? Look, there are some things that are really serious crimes and really serious offenses. I don't think in a situation or in a city where you have public urination and every mayor that comes to office, every politician, every city council, we're going to have public toilets, but they never provide the to public toilets. They don't arrest people doing St. Patrick's Day parade or pee in the streets, do they? I don't, no! I don't know. The question is, fix the problem. You can't criminalize every social problem. You can't criminalize every low-status person who uh, can't uh, find a right, bathroom. All right, but, or a middle-class kid, right, for that yet, matter. Yet, when Giuliani instituted the broken windows theory, uh, a, a way of, of, of policing, uh, you, you found that a lot of these turnstile jumpers and, and low-level criminals had outstanding warrants. Uh, broken windows is one thing. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going against, up against broken windows. I'm saying that we have to have to make a distinction between real criminal offenses yeah and i mean marijuana is no longer a criminal offense in new york i mean except they've they've, they've downloaded right. they've they downgraded, downgraded it yep. so my point is that certain 
police officers have to have discretion. Now, I don't consider jumping the turnstile to be something that should be decriminalized. No, because that's a serious, that's theft. Right, right. And so that, that's not, but there are some ranges of things. That's, yeah. I, keep it, I keep my mind open. But there must be some ranges of certain offenses right. that don't need a criminal sanction. All right, we will talk about that further uh, <laughs> when uh, we uh, welcome Michael back another time. Thank you, sir. Michael Myers, when we come back, Professor Andrew Bostom, and we'll talk about the Armenian genocide. Don't go away.